Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to Prep Medic. Sorry for the brief hiatus in videos. I was on vacation and didn't have much time to make videos. So this week I'm hoping to put out um, two before Friday. So we'll see if that happens or not. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing the North American Rescue's emergency trauma dressing and the Olay's modular bandage. So like I said, today we are comparing the North American Rescue's emergency trauma dressing and the Olay's modular bandage. Um, now, surprise, surprise, I do have an opinion regarding these, but these are both uh, great bandages with slightly different uses, um, although ultimately they're both used to control bleeding. Um, so as far as packaging and what these come in, these are both the six inch, inch versions of um, both companies' products. Um, both come in a four inch version and then both have a flat pack version if the um, cylinder uh, form factor doesn't really fit in your IFAC or wherever you're keeping this. Um, these bandages are gonna be primarily used to either wrap a junctional site where you have um, packed the wound and then this wraps it and secures it in place and provides pressure. Uh, or it's going to be used on a wound that either can't have an applica uh, tourniquet applied and can't have wound packing such as the head um, or minor bleeding on the arm or leg that you still have to stop um, but that doesn't really warrant tourniquet application. Um, so as you can see both are, are pretty similar. They both have directions for use on the back. Um, and then pricing is almost identical. Uh, the Olay's is uh, about $7.95 and the ETD is $7.99. And granted on um, North American Rescue's website, if you are a uh, professional in this realm, either law enforcement, military, or EMS or fire, you can get a discount. So this will probably come in a little bit less, um, but very, very comparable in prices. So let's open these up uh, and we'll take a look at how these are applied and the different features both have. Um, so right away, if you're opening the North American Rescue, they've got the red tab and they call it a red tip technology, but um, really it just shows you exactly where to tear to open it. And both are vacuum sealed. So it comes out looking like this, throw the packaging aside. And this one has a big black arrow pointing to the uh, pole up top, and then you have two um, on the sides, two small arrows. So your always comes out in a protective uh, paper packaging, which is actually kind of annoying. Um, but once they're open, they both um, look pretty similar. Now, one of the great things about both of these bandages is um, it's not gonna, if you just grab the tip, it's not just gonna unroll. They've got Velcro stops along the way, um, so it's not gonna unravel and hit the floor. Um, that's a pain in the butt. Uh, same with the OAs, it doesn't come down. So we'll start with the emergency trauma dressing. Um, this is, very simplified. Essentially all this is is an elastic wrap and a pressure pad there. So you're going to wrap this around somebody's arm um, or leg or head, whatever it is, providing pressure and then wrapping tight. And then when you get to the end, you have a clip. Um, that will go and uh, clip to the end of it, but it, it keeps it pretty simple. Uh, no real hidden features in this, and you'll see with the um, Olay's that the Olay's has a little bit more uh, features packed into it. So the Olay's bandage, as you unroll it, you'll see this uh, plastic cup here. Um, and what this is for, this is to provide direct pressure over the site of bleeding. The thought is, is as you come around with the elastic wrap, that's gonna compress that and provide more uh, pinpoint pressure. 
I, I really don't know how well it works. Um, I haven't read any studies on it. Maybe it's the best thing ever, uh, maybe not. So uh, this is one feature it boasts. Um, and then as you come around to the gauze pad on the side, you'll notice an inlet here. And this actually has um, sterile gauze um, inside of it. And this can be used for wound packing. Um, it can be used for an additional wrap. Uh, whatever, or just more of an absorbent pad um, in this section. So kind of a nice thing to have, um, nice thing to know you have. And then you also have an uh, occlusive sheet that you can use and then wrap the OAs around um, somebody's chest if they have a sucking chest wound. Um, so two features, nice to have in there. It's, it kind of makes it a, more of a multi-purpose bandage um, than just the um, ETD. Um, but the basic application of it is very much the same. It's got the Velcro stops as you come down um, and, oop, and will unroll all the way. And then when you get to the end, there's the exact same clip um, to secure the bandage. In my opinion, um, and like I said before, this is just my opinion, you know, I, I'm not too strong side on one or the other on these two bandages, but the Always bandage is a nice thing if maybe you're trying to save space in your kit, um, whatever it might be, um, you know, to have a little bit more functionality out of it. If you can only carry like one bandage, this is cool because it carries an occlusive with it, um, which can be used in a pinch. I still wouldn't want to use that necessarily for a sucking chest wound if I didn't have to. I'd rather use an actual chest seal that's going to uh, adhere better. Um, so the Oase is nice and it has a lot of nice features, but as far as ease of use, I really like the North American Rescue's product because there's nothing you have to figure out. Um, you know, you don't have to be digging in the pocket to find these things. Um, and I just find it's easier to know, like, this is my wrap and then I have a separate thing of gauze for wound packing and I have a separate um, chest seal and all of that in my kit. So I do prefer just the simplicity of the North American Rescues product, um, but I can appreciate that this has uh, a lot more features and could appeal to a lot of people, especially if you're trying to save space, if you don't have a lot of real estate on your vest or in your kit, whatever it might be. So both are great choices. I'd say they're pretty comparable to each other. Um, it's important when you buy these products that you open them up and train with them so you know what you're getting into and you, if you're carrying an Olay's, you don't open it up the first time when you really need to use it and don't know how to apply it. So very important that you open these products. You know, they're not too expensive. So if you buy one, if you need one, buy two and open the second one up and train with it and use it a lot. Uh, so that's my advice to you. I hope to see you guys um, this week again. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to put a, putting out a, uh, another video here uh, this week to make up for my two-week absence. Um, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you next time.